Hi everyone, it's Chukuma from Mastermind Automobile Solutions. Today we want to answer the question on whether you should go for a high mileage vehicle in top shape or a vehicle with a low mileage. Please like our page, like our video, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment. Thank you. So I'm answering this question with a 2020 Jeep SRT. If you look at the dashboard, you would see that it's just a little less than 42,000 kilometers. Um, so the car has been barely driven. It's still in, you know, it still has a lot of life in it. So when you're buying a vehicle, you want to make sure you, you, you choose the best. But sometimes you're faced with whether you should go for one with a low mileage or one in top shape. The truth is that low mileage or high mileage, what matters is the state of the car. I've seen a lot of low mileage cars that needed, you know, a lot of work to be done on them. I've seen high mileage cars that were kept in top shape. And funny, because a lot of funny things in our country, Nigeria, I've seen vehicles that are quite old and still you know showing low mileages easy to see that these mileages have been rolled back you know they've been rolled back mileages of the cars have been rolled back to represent mileages that they are not you know so i'll take for example my own crv when i acquired it i saw it needed quite some work and then looking at the mileage, I could see 89,000 miles. It was suspicious because for a 2007 car in 2023, that's 16 plus years after, I was faced with, um, I was faced with just 89,000 miles. And so I proceeded to do the work, but I decided I was going to verify the true mileage of the vehicle. When I verified the true mileage of the vehicle, it was shocking. The car came into Nigeria in about, um, I think, 2013. So six years after its production year. And it came in with 147,000 miles from the records, you know, at the point of shipping into Nigeria. You know, we have a way of running through, through our, uh, you know, to verify these records with our diagnostic tools. So we could see that clearly the mileage of that CRV was rolled back to represent 89,000 miles in 2023. <laughs> so uh, 147,000 real, 147, real mileages in 2013 and 87, 89,000 miles in 2023. It doesn't just, you know, it doesn't sum up properly. It doesn't, it doesn't represent what it should be. We proceeded to do the work and the car is currently in top shape and that's what matters, whether the mileage was rolled back or not. So, we'll tell you every time, if you want to buy a car, what, you know, the current shape of the car is what's important. What's the engine like? What's the transmission like? What is the wiring like? Does the AC work? Are you impressed with the way the interior is? You know, these are the things that should really bother you and not the mileage of the car you might run into vehicles with road back mileages just like the example i just gave you know so in my opinion you know go for vehicles in top shape if you can afford it of course buy brand new vehicles or vehicles that you know that have been used for just a few years at least the mileages you see on those can be believable also if you're going for vehicles with low mileages, you know, high mileages, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, as was the case in the CRV. If the mileages, let's say th those um, 147,000 miles on the car, if they were pure highway miles, then it's a very good thing because pure, high, pure highway miles represent just about 10% of, you know, wear and tear on the car. So if you had a car with... 147,000 miles and it was driven mostly on the highway just know that you're looking at an equivalent of maybe 15,000 miles of actual mileage of the car that's when you use it in the city i always emphasize that cars are happier 
when you drive them on the highway more than when you drive them in city you know you notice better gas mileages you notice the cars breathe properly so if you have a car with high mileages and you can verify how the car was used and it was used mostly on the highway trust me it's a good buy it's a good buy especially on places like you know abroad where you have you know where you have cars that um run on mostly good roads you know they have good road network unlike nigeria that the roads are mostly bad so that kind of thing you have to put it into consideration all right kindly like our video leave us a comment click on the notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload a new video thank you